Hello everyone, welcome back to another awesome video of Flutter. In this video, we're gonna see how to enable desktop support for your Flutter application. So currently, as you can see, we have uh, only support for uh, Chrome as well as Android. And you also can see that uh, we only have iOS, Android as well as uh, web folders. But um, we would also want uh, desktop folders like uh, my Windows folder also as i'm in windows so i would like to enable windows also for my application so for that just uh, open windows powershell and search for flutter doctor all as always is a command so it will give you all the details about your flutter version and other stuff so currently i am in a stable version which is of 42.5.2 and uh, as per the documentation flutter said that uh, desktop support is available for uh, stable version but you need to enable it manually using the following command so just go to this website flutter.dev slash desktop and that uh, based on you your project requirement you can enable desktop uh, windows desktop uh, abilities as well as mac os and linux so I would like to enable only uh, Windows desktop, just copy it and then go to Windows PowerShell and paste it. Yeah, so you can see the desktop uh, configuration has been enabled for Flutter. So, so we may need to list out the, our uh, IDE, so just exit it and then again open VS Code. now you can see that if you go to here we just click on it we have this option enable windows for this project okay but uh, once you have enabled again just restart this powershell also powershell in this again you enter flutter doctor and this time you would be having uh, some errors because as we have enabled uh, windows so we also need to download certain stuff for the windows applications so you can see that uh, visual studio is not installed this is necessary for windows development and it also gives you the link for downloading uh, visual studio code so let me copy it and go back to the browser and paste it so with this you can download uh, visual studio code so currently we have this uh, visual studio version free download we need to download a community version just click on free download so we have this uh, .exe file just double click on it and uh, it's going to install it so just click on continue now in this we would like to enable uh, development uh, desktop development with c++ so if you go to the flutter website and uh, and also this powershell it says that uh, please install the desktop development with c++ so that is the reason when you are installing visual studio code please make sure to select this option desktop development okay and uh, if you want to build this is for uh, uh, we have uh, this uh, my ui i think mui from microsoft so that is it so please check this option and then once you feel that uh, everything looks good then just click on install so as you can see it is around uh, it takes time to install all of this in your system so just sit back and enjoy So it's around 2.15 GB. So we just have to wait it until it downloads and installs.
so it is going to ask you to reboot but uh, I just want to restart it after some time just click on cancel and uh, just click on close now let's hit the command again flutter doctor yeah you can see if you don't restart it so it is going to throw the same error again and again so it's good to restart the system so i'll be back after a moment system has been restarted now now let's check whether uh, all of the things are installed correctly or not you can see all of them we have check marks so flutter channel version 2.5.2 android is installed chrome we have uh, as well as visual studio code we have connected three devices one is chrome edge as well as uh, windows so let me open the same application that uh, we had installed previously so now if you can just click on this so you can see we have chrome edge as well as enable windows if you click on this enable windows for this project so we're going to create we're going to have the a windows folder here just like ios web as well as android just click on yes you can see now we have windows folder that means we can run flutter application as uh, a windows application so just select windows and click on run and then run without debugging so for the first time it is going to download a um, lot of uh, flutter tools for the uh, windows so it is going to take time for the first time when you have installed this uh, visual studio code but for the other applications that you're going to create is not going to take much time so you can see that uh, it's going to open the dev tools this is just for debugging purpose and i would like to open the dev tools in web browser so this is where you see all the back end process that flutter is running so we have a root widget and inside that we have my app widget and inside that we have material app so um, this will show you how uh, our application has been built so you can see that this is a indeed uh, windows application you can uh, minimize it you can reduce the size and width okay so you can if you click on plus it is going to increase the value as you can see we have this code awesome community as well as if you hover over this there is a tooltip also by default yeah so we have finally created a windows application using flutter so if you have any doubts or if you found any issues while uh, enabling the windows or desktop support for flutter just add a comment in the video so that uh, i would try to give a suggestion or uh, find a solution for that so yeah that is it so that is pretty much it for the video hope you guys liked it so until next time you take care and you guys are awesome bye bye